Columbia Lighthouse for the Blind has been around for 109 years. And this year, celebrating our 50th anniversary for our camp, we have children that are from the ages of 6 to 12, and they will have the experience of their life by having games, learning Braille, having lunch together, playing soccer, swimming. These are all the things that children should have and do, except our children are visually impaired and blind. Tony Cancelosi and I'm the President and CEO of the Columbia Lighthouse for the Blind. I just had the opportunity to meet someone coming into the auditorium who was at our camp more than 40 years ago. And so the significance of that is that we have individuals today that are grown up, seen in communities and working that have come to our summer camp. It's very fun for me to know that I can write and the, and the people around me can write and also that I know my friends know Braille, that I don't, I'm not the only person who knows Braille in the whole camp. <laughs> My name is Brian Horsley. I'm, I'm 10 years old. I've been coming here for like f for five years. Yeah, everybody here makes me feel comfortable because they got like like they, they are nice campers. Like they don't tease you if you get something wrong. Like if you playing a game and then you mess up and then they don't laugh at you. My name is Faith Guype. I have been a counselor with Columbia Lighthouse for the Blind twice. Um, as an adult with uh, low vision, I have taken advantage of some of their other services and then I found out about camp and really wanted to help the kids. Columbia Lighthouse also provides other services, not only for children, but young adults and seniors. And because of the aging population and the increase in diabetes and obesity among children, there's going to be a tremendous need for an outreach within the community to serve them. So the Columbia Lighthouse for the Blind and its board of directors are seeking a way to reach out into the community. I come back because I believe in what Columbia Lighthouse is doing. Like I said, I have taken advantage of some of their other adult um, services such as employment marketing skills, training, working on interviewing and resumes and such, uh, low vision computer training with Zoom text. Um, they also have services for um, the elderly. So they run the gamut and that's what I really like. It feels I felt this several weeks into my EMST class. I feel it's it's kind of like a family. Take a little bit of spirit, take a little bit of fun, take a little bit of beauty, roll into one. Take a little bit of friendship of the very best quality, put them all together at a lighthouse camp you'll be. All right. Now remember, I don't even know what I had for breakfast yesterday, but that I remember.